Well, we're back up here Sunday evening. Uh, went to church this morning, this afternoon. Going to try to fiddle around with this a little bit this evening. I'm going to try to take this structure down to the old tarp shed and get it down and out of the way so we can go ahead and backfill where we've dug up around the house and also be able to get a trailer around back to the basement to clean it out. Um, so we have that and uh, we also clean the drains and we'll put that on with this as well. So this will be a tarp shed structure take down slash cleaning the gutters video. We're gonna get at it. So this is all that's holding this thing together is these little U-bolts and a little bracket that will tie it around this stake. I don't know, these are probably twisted in like a auger type deal. And it has these that the tarp was tied down tight with. I don't know what's holding them in. And we're a little worried that the framework goes all the way under on every beam across so we may have to do some digging to get it up out of there but first thing i'm going to take these off and at least get them off and maybe see what we have and if i have to i'll get the tractor around here and pull up on it a little bit i may have to go through and break the ground where each one of those ribs are maybe with a bar or something and see if it'll pull up out of them so there's six of these in there i've already taken that one off so not much to it So we got all these loose. We pulled up all the stakes, which they're back up here. And they're just some little auger type deals that screw in the ground. They come out pretty easy. Uh, as Lisa said, it's pretty wet, so it's probably a good time of the year to do it. So it wasn't too bad. I'm clamping all of the parts back on and sticking the bolts back in that holds it together just because Somebody might misplace something and I don't want to not have it when I go to put it together. So I'm being safe So these were just curled on the end down here a little bit And this is what held the tarp down This little turnbuckle pulled the tarp down tight on it I don't know what they had 
tied with that. But anyway, I think what the plan is, I'll move the old truck out of the way and try to pull it apart right here. It seems like it's gonna just raise right up off of here. The whole thing don't weigh much, but it's kind of awkward to handle. We're gonna try to pick it up off of that. Maybe this will just fall to the ground, both sides, and then we'll carry this piece, hopefully over here by the fence, and we'll just stack everything right over there. And then we'll have this opened up where we can get around here and backfill and uh, get to the basement and uh, whatever we need to do. And we'll need to get this mess cleaned up. She found some more change and a couple little wrenches again. So this is a tarp shed that just keeps on giving. <laughs> or taking. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid. Okay, you good to go, Lace? Good to go. Okay. all of the screens off of them it, it really needs something all these big trees back here over it but uh, they wasn't working for some reason that probably hadn't been checked in years and years at okay, least got the yard all mowed down again and raked down so it's looking a lot better long way to go all this woods back here is going to have to be thinned out and done something with some brush all the way up there in the front and one more gutter i guess this front one down here about forgot about this little sunroom nook thing so i guess i'll go get my hose and clean it then i'll say i'm done this one looks pretty good though. There's a little bit left in there. I don't know if you need to really see it or not. I think it's just stuff that the rainwater will wash on out.
we're going to call it a night. We got this uh, old tarp shed structure taken down and put off to the side over here. Uh, being a uh, kind of out of the way for now and then we can load it on trailer next time we have one here and, and get it out of here and take it to the other place. Um, we cleaned the gutter the other day. That's part of what you've seen as well. Um, when I started on this shed, there was wasp trying to eat me up. So it's about 62 or 3 degrees here this evening. So the wasp was settled down and not around. They must have moved on and found them another home. We'll probably happen on to that sometime again. Hopefully not, but no wasps were harmed in the making of this. Yeah. No wasps were harmed in the making of this movie. <laughs> Truly. Not today anyway. Maybe the other day, but not today. <laughs> so we're gonna call it a, a night tonight and load up and go home. We gotta Go back to work tomorrow morning early, so we'll hit this a lick through the week, maybe one evening or two, or if not then, maybe next weekend. So uh, we've got a big mess, and hopefully it'll start turning around and getting better before long. We appreciate you coming along. If you would, uh, give us a like if you've watched all this, and subscribe if you want to follow along. We've got a lot left to do. All this uh, backfilling has got to be done pretty well next. We're going to load this uh, sunroom up and the tarp shed structure and get it out of here before long. Uh, next weekend maybe go inside and start ripping carpet out. Uh, it's got a terrible odor in there and we're thinking that's where it's coming from. And we're going to try to cut it up and get it out of there. So uh, subscribe and follow along. We'd appreciate it. Thank you.